Hey, uh, it's August the 2nd, 2017, and recently I had a request to do a video. It's this video right here. Um, I want to let everybody know that if you correspond with me and stuff like that on the internet, I love that. I love it, man. I look forward to it a lot and stuff, and I like to see that sort of a thing. So if you have a request for a video, understand I'm not afraid to, to speak on it, right? I will make a video about it, even if maybe I don't have all the expertise on it. I'll have something to say about it for sure, all right? So before we dive into this video that might prove to be a little bit lengthy and complicated, um, I would like to shout out to that girl who requested this video, um, just to let you know, man. She's one of my oldest and yet youngest subscribers. I mean, she's been with me since the previous channel, way back in the early days, this girl, all right? She's stayed with me. I appreciate her so much. In fact, she's one of my um, favorite if I'm being very honest, favorite subscribers, all right, um, this girl, and she's also pretty young, I can't, I don't remember exactly, but she's probably 16 or 17 right now, and I believe that she subscribed to me when she was like 15, something like that, all right, shout out to this girl, she wanted me to do a video about, um, transgender folk, like, ladies, I guess in particular, who's transgender, getting wombs surgically implanted into them, all right, uh, transgender, the lady thinks she's a dude, right? And she wants to be a dude, uh, or actually, no, that, that's the other way around, because a lady can have a baby. It's a dude who wants to be a lady, in every sense of the word, all right? But he was born a dude, and so eventually he gets his winter chopped off, and then, I guess, pushed back up in his body in a certain way. Um, this dude, he wants to be a lady, and of course, it, with all the trappings of being a lady, he wants to have a baby. Lots of times, uh, uh, these transgender folks, he's born as dudes, Sometimes they will have the desire to carry a baby. And, and people have always wondered, you know, should, will we ever see a day in which uh, men carry babies in their belly? Like, that's been a question since well before I was born and stuff like that. All right. And she brought it up. She wanted me to make a video about that because there are scientists out there and doctors and all sort of people who are very well educated. For sure. Way more educated than myself. For sure. All right. There are people out there and they're trying to, they're trying to make that a reality. Like right? The transgender, the dudes born as dudes. They want to have babies, like ladies, right? So, the idea is they get a uterus transplanted up into them, right? And that's a very long, complicated process, obviously. And we're going to dive into it a little bit, contemplate the ins and outs of this whole situation, right? But before we do that, I want to establish this. There's such a thing called a common sense. And now, everybody, I know for a fact that everybody's seen this video, they've heard the phrase before. They've heard it many times, actually. Common sense, right? Common sense. It's a certain kind of wisdom that is excruciatingly simple, right? It's just, on its face, it makes sense, common sense. Like, if someone told you, hey, don't go to that stove, touch it, because it's hot, it's gonna burn your hand. That is common sense. You, you might go to the stove and touch it, and it's gonna burn you, and it's gonna hurt. See, that's common sense, it's very simple, right? And it's actually extremely crucial. I do wanna mention this. Common sense, the origination of common sense, where it comes from, is God, all right? Period, all day, common sense always, came from God and always will come from God. Now, now that we got that established, people can get educated, and this is clearly stated in the Bible in certain uh, areas, people can get as educated as they want, right? And learn all sort of things that are not detailed in the Bible and stuff like that. They can learn all sort of different knowledge, all right? That's possible. And these sort of things take place in science, in the world of science all the time. All right, all sort of people get and, and different other uh, areas of education like lawyers can be very well educated on the legal system and all its ins and outs and stuff like that. Anything really, you could be very uh, educated on music and you could just throw together music like nobody's business, like a dang robot. All right, you, you could be very well educated on that, way more than me. All right, way more than most people. However, common sense is a whole different type of education and wisdom. It specifically comes from God, all right? And, you know, it's interesting to note is it does not matter what's your religion or where you're at on the world, any kind of thing. It really does not matter. This actually applies to all humans. Whatever common sense you know, you got it from God, even if you don't believe in God. It really doesn't matter. That's where it came from, the common sense, all right? I'll give you an example, and we've discussed this before. That whole Murharam ceremony. A lot of people weren't familiar with that, all right? The Murharam is celebrated by some of these... Um, Shiite Muslims 
in certain countries, certain areas. It's called Mar Haram, it's a ceremony. I don't know what all it entails, but I do know that it entails cutting your head open and cutting baby's heads open and then just wandering around or dancing around and stuff with blood running down from your head. It looks crazy, all right? This is an actual thing, unfortunately, right? Thing is, those people, what I had to explain for you is they might be very educated on this subject, well more educated than me. Like, they might really know how exactly to cut the baby's head open they might know exactly what kitchen knife from out the drawer at their house to use to do it. They might know how to eventually stop that and, and, and reconcile that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, after they get done dancing in the streets and collecting uh, pools of blood and stuff and cutting their heads open, they, they probably know all sort of things about the subject that I don't know. However, what I'm here to suggest to you and what I suggested before is that that doesn't make sense. There's no common sense to it. I heard from somebody that it has something to do because uh, in Islam they believe Jesus to be a prophet. The whole Muharram had something to do with Jesus or something like that, his plight. It on its face doesn't make sense. This is the reason in which why in America you might have Muslim folks that they don't get caught wandering around cutting their babies open, uh, open their heads with knives, right? Because they'll go to jail real quick. And also it's just common sense. You understand how it applies to everybody. Now, okay, with that, with that in mind, I like to point your attention to science. And also I want to just iterate to you. If you know a true follower of Christ, you understand that they love science. They always love science. They love hearing about it at least. If they're not scientists with lab coats, they certainly like to hear of science and new science coming up. They're not afraid of science at all because when you think about science, you understand that it's never concrete. Never, ever, ever will science be settled on something. It's always developing. There's a, it'll grow into, into more science and more and more science. Science by nature is uh, asking questions, dude. You want to know the answers. You're not convinced by other people trying to tell you the answers. So you go and you firsthand, you dive into it. Maybe you become a scientist. Maybe you wear a lab coat every day for a living. Thing is, maybe you do all sort of science experiments. You ask questions because you want to know firsthand the answers. You're not willing to simply just take other people's words for it. You need to understand whether or not those people are lying to you or maybe they're just misconstruing the situation. You want to get to the bottom of stuff. This is science. It's ever growing. Science is never ever settled. And that's the beautiful part about science. I like it. There's people in many, 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 many different areas of science who who know all sort of things that I don't and I never will. They've gone to MIT and all sort of places. I have the family has gone to MIT and stuff like that. I have straight up geniuses in my family and stuff like that. I mean, it didn't really rub off on me necessarily. But the thing is, right, you can know a lot about science. And you can learn a lot. And, and you always keep asking questions because that is the nature of science. I bring that up because the true follower of Christ has questions, dude, all the time. He or she wants them answered, all right? He or she wants solutions. He or she wants to see a problem, identify a problem, resolve the problem, and get rid of that problem forever. This is basically a follower of Christ, what they have on their minds and on their hearts all the time. It looks very much like science in that they both always ask questions they need to know. They need to know firsthand. All right, they got to find out. All right, so science has a lot of different areas. There's one particular area in which um, certain scientists and doctors out there for, I guess, years now, who knows how many years, but for years now, they've uh, been dabbling in transplanting or wanting to transplant uteruses from, I'm not sure, maybe dead bodies. Uh, probably you would figure dead bodies. Uh, transfer the uterus of the lady, of one lady, uh, to another lady whose uterus might be damaged or something. Maybe she doesn't have one or something like that. So there are ladies who are born this way, All right? So the, the the preliminary idea that was thrown out to the public was, do some of these ladies, and uh, they can't have babies, their uterus is all messed up. Perhaps we could transplant uterus from another lady into that lady, All right? And this was put out in the public forum probably decades ago, All right? It's not really a new idea. Um, but obviously the slippery slope is going to, it is going to go down because you got to understand, okay, if we're, uh, transplanting a uterus from one lady to the other lady, obviously there's other people going to want this to include men or dudes who are born dudes who become transgender and they think they're a lady in their head. They have a voice always in their head telling, Hey, I think you're a lady. I think you're a lady. And they believe it. So they, um, they might want to have a baby just like a lady does. All right, so it was inevitable, all right, for what it's worth, whether you agree with it or don't, it was inevitable that people would start to think, oh shoot, maybe we could put uteruses up in, in men's bodies and they could hold a baby. And voila, we got men who are mamas. And so, like, that's where we're at today. The thing is, I do want to point out, I looked up the, the whole science of what we're talking about. I typed in a couple words, like, you know, transgender men having babies and stuff like that. Uh, what popped up were some articles that were pretty mainstream, all right? Um, I do want to note that 
the the top articles and things concerning putting uteruses up in men's bodies is um, from late 2015 you'll notice All right those are the top articles which would insinuate that that's when the climax of you know people uh, thinking about this and really making gains in this uh, 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 certain particular science that's when it was popping off in late 2015 there might be some developments that if I research a little bit farther that I might find that they've been coming to but the climax of the knowledge explosion around this area of science that was late 2015 and it has to make you wonder because we're entering the late 2017 you start to you look at the videos and the articles concerning this you start to understand that there's certain people out there who you would describe as maybe desperate for wanting this technology wanting these advancements there's probably dudes out there who do really really want babies and they've always known that they wanted a baby in their belly all right so they're out there and of course you got to understand that they desperately want this all right and mind you the whole transgender when you turn your wiener inside out and things like that or you turn your vagina inside out that i swear that costs a lot of money to do it to do the actual operation then after that you got to consider hormone therapy that's also going to be extremely expensive thing is i just want to throw in there real quick i don't got a problem with it dude you want to do whatever you want to do i'm not going to stop you i don't i don't have enough time in the day all right so um you're going to do it i don't even mind that insurance would pay for it that makes sense get an insurance plan that pays for it my ultimate concern is i don't want to pay the government for it you, I don't want to pay the government to spend probably a million dollars plus in order to make sure we can put babies in dudes. I don't see that as practical. You might look at me and say, oh, you're a hypocrite because your tax money pays for these wars and stuff too. All sort of people getting killed all in those countries. Guess what? I don't like my money going there either. I don't endorse that either. I just, I want my tax money to go to whatever, like roads and, and these things that people talk about, which are fractions of the percent of our tax dollars. These roads and stuff, infrastructure, that's only a, a small fraction of what we pay our tax dollars to. All right. I don't like any of these things. I certainly wouldn't want you to have government insurance. Turn your penis or vagina inside out. It's going to cost a lot of money. Then you have to take hormones all right, in order to maintain your newfound gender. All right, That costs a lot of money. Now, let's consider we put on top of that. Uh, now we're going to surgically implant a uterus up into you. That in and of itself is going to cost a shit ton of money. All right, Because no one's going to do this for free. Ain't no doctors out here going to do it for free. <laughs> they might do it to you if you want, if you pay enough money, but it's going to be a lot of money. All right, So... Uh, on top of that expenses now what you have is you putting the uterus up in a man that's gonna cost a lot of money you're gonna have to not only give him hormones but you have to give him like anti-rejection drugs too because his body is going to naturally reject a uterus up inside of itself naturally that's what you can expect there's anti-rejection drugs that they put in people to make it to where like maybe they won't reject a heart if it's transplanted or they won't reject this and that it won't reject the uterus if it's planted that's gonna cost unbelievable amounts of money too Right? So it's like, dude, why in the world would our taxes pay for that at all? Because it's an astronomical amount of money. Right? For something that don't have common sense to it, alright? It really does not. And I'm sorry to tell you, you could be so educated in all this stuff. You could be the top doctor in the world at uh, putting uteruses up in men's bodies. I'm not saying that I'm smarter than you in this way. I'm saying this area of science, it began, it originated in what is the opposite of common sense. All right, it's not common sense to think, oh man, we, we got a problem on our hands. We got a serious problem on our hands, our society's hands. Men aren't having babies. God, there's, there's got to be something we should do about this. Well, let's create a science behind it. All right, let's have people get degrees and stuff about it. Let's have people be the experts in their field of putting babies in men's bellies because, see, we have a problem in our society. If we're going to fix it, obviously we have to put babies in men's bellies. And they think they're ladies. Sure, they are ladies because we turn their penis into a vagina we stuffed it up in there right you understand uh so obviously we need to put babies in men's bellies and that'll solve the problems you see how amazing that sounds and i know it sounds hyperbolic but that's exactly what took place at the birth at the inception of this science right it, it, it has no common sense not at all i have to suggest to y'all that just as a general rule of thumb any science, if it's going to be successful and it's going to lead to technology and surplus for us as human beings and all sort of uh, futuristic type advancements and stuff like that, I'm not against that. I got I to gotta let you know, 3D printers and all sort of technology, oh man, I like that. I like the sound of that. It makes sense to me. It sounds like it's rooted in common sense, those sort of things, because it'll save us money. It'll save humans and labor. All the labor that people do, they'll be able to put that into more productive uh, ways of just having everything we want as Americans and then later on as human beings just everything technologically that we want I like all that sort of thing, but that's rooted in common sense. You should like that sort of thing 
Right? Putting a baby's ultimately in men's bellies, that's not rooted in common sense. The reason is, and we can't go into too much detail, but I've mentioned it. Jesse Lee Peterson's mentioned it. All sort of people mention it. Love is an actual thing. It comes from God. Goes to a man. Man to his wife. Wife over to the children. That's how love works. And I know it sounds silly and simple, but the thing is, yeah, it is simple. It's common sense. It comes from God. Love comes from God. Can't really change the order, and that's a whole different other video that I'm sure I've done before. But common sense would tell you that it benefits nobody to include the child being born from a dude with a, a uterus planted up in him. Right? Common sense would say that's not going to help anybody. So we shouldn't really even desire to know. We shouldn't want to have to spend a million plus dollars in each case that people's tax dollars go to. We shouldn't want to do this. That would be common sense. Right? And you know what I'm saying? Also, man, you know, just as an aside, I do want to bring this up. Um, you have to understand that uh, you can learn all sort of things. You can have all sort of education. You can have all sort of money. You can have all sort of this and that. We've all seen proof that none of that will bring you success in your life. Peace, contentment, fulfillment. None of these things will, will uh, supply you with that sort of joy in your life. You know what I'm saying? I bring that up because transgenders in general, you know, they have a high suicide rate. And it doesn't bring me joy to say that. I'm not happy that these people are committing suicide and stuff. You understand? That's a high uh, suicide rate group of individuals. And just to mention on a side note, you know, um, women who die within a year of their child being born, uh, the most prevalent uh, cause of that is suicide. All right, so ha having a baby born, sometimes it can lead to uh, suicidal thoughts like that statistically, scientifically has been proven. All right, so you multiply that rate of suicide on top of each other. You understand that transgenders, they do commit suicide. A lot of people run around talking about, oh, it's because they're b being bullied. Probably not. It really probably isn't because everybody gets bullied. And I don't like bullying, like I've said before, but the thing is, bullying, you'll never stop it. It's unstoppable. It will always exist. If you had a campaign to stop bullying, you're campaigning to burn money is what you're doing. All right. Thing is, these transgender people, they already have high rates of suicide. That's because they have a voice whispering in their head and they can't shut it up, dude. It really is that simple. And these ladies, sometimes when they have babies, you know, they get the postpartum depression and they have a uh, voice whispering to them. And it's a prevalent way for these ladies to die is suicide. All right. So you're putting that together. Not only that, you're in this instance throwing a uterus up into a dude's body and what you're definitely disregarding in that situation is your body does not like your organs don't work in a vacuum dude your body absolutely this part of your body is connected to this part of your body is connected to your foot it's all connected so when you go ahead and mess around in such a way that you're putting a uterus in a man's body and quite obviously it doesn't belong there you do have to put anti-rejection drugs all sort of hormones all sort of money goes into this all right um, you're doing this and you're expecting it not to affect the rest of the body to include the mental health of a person and inevitably see the thing is I gotta understand they're not getting very far with this because it is 2017 and you haven't heard very much developments but you gotta understand if this does become normalized like an institution of uh, a certain minority does go ahead and put a uterus up in a, a dude's belly all right calls him a lady and says you're a lady you have to understand that what you're gonna see is total carnage after that there those uh, men who are ladies having babies they're going to go through all sort of mental despair, suicide. I mean, you're going to see suicides like hotcakes, number, number one. But you're also going to see them incur terrible health problems because their body works in tandem. And it won't be able to compute what exactly is going on. You have to pump yourself off all the drugs to even survive the operation. You're not going to survive. Your body is definitely going to reject the uterus up inside you unless you pump yourself full of drugs. Right? And even then, dude, you're going to have to understand drugs have serious consequences. All right, it's going to lead to all sort of carnage and chaos if we ever get to see it come to fruition. I don't care if we do or we don't, all right? Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I'm not going to stop it, that's for sure. But the thing is, you're going to see all sort of carnage off of it. And then you're going to remember, well, the thing is, we thought we were so educated about this. We thought we were so educated. Meanwhile, the whole topic itself did not start in common sense, not at all. It was destined for failure forever and ever and ever and ever, all right? Just in the same way that it's not common sense to think that every single human being, or American especially, will have to pay carbon taxes to Al Gore and the damn pedophile Pope and all sort of people. We need to pay carbon taxes to them to fix the earth. Right? You understand? There's, there's scientists out there who think that the planet is warming. There's many other scientists who don't see that at all. 
I, they all agree that the climate's changing and stuff like that. We have climate change, uh, like, through airplanes and stuff. That's on record. Like, that is a science, to change the climate through airplanes and dropping off dust and stuff. Weird stuff like that. That is a science. But, however, if you dive into any science, like, if you dive into a science thinking, okay, I think we're going to have to pay Al Gore and all his buddies to save the world. Uh, we're all going to have to pay carbon taxes, and let's figure out how exactly the, we can make the Earth stop getting hotter. Right? Right? That is absolute retardation. It has nothing to do with common sense. Yes, it is science. Yes, you can be very educated on it. God bless you. But common sense is wisdom. It comes from God, dude. It comes from nowhere else, by the way. Uh, we're all up in the tribulation, man. This video has been long enough. I'll holler at y'all.